Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be jumping back into uh, my Kodiak Solar Generator. I've been having so much fun playing with this over the summer and I've been pushing it like well beyond its limits all summer just seeing how far this thing will go. Very, very impressed. Today we're going to be hooking it up to a 5000 BTU um, window unit air conditioner to see how long that would run. I heard a lot of people ask me that question. So I went out and I bought a 5000 BTU window air conditioner, which was very hard to find because it's fall now here in Colorado and everywhere stopped selling the window units. I had to track this one down. It was the last one in the back of an Ace Hardware like 15 miles from here. But so I bought it so I could do this test. So you're welcome. I don't need one. I have a central air, but everybody wanted to see this test. So picked that up, unboxed it. And uh, what we're going to do is just hook it up to the Kodiak solar generator and see exactly how long it's going to run that guy. Now, the Kodiak solar generator, I have a huge review on that on my other channel uh, that I left. And I'm going to be doing another review on it here on this channel because I've put it through so much stuff this summer that I just have to revisit it and uh, do like the six month in on it. Now, this thing is incredibly cool. If you haven't seen my other video, which goes very technical and covers all the specs of this unit, I'm going to assume that you already kind of know a little bit about it. If you don't, uh, maybe I'll put a, well, I guess you can just wait for my review that I'll be doing probably next week to rehash all of its stuff. But it's got about a 95 amp hour battery in it, lithium, and it has a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter, and it can handle up to 600 watts of solar uh, while it's operating. You can charge it while you're using it. Uh, but today, I'm just going to be hooking it up to that AC unit, starting the clock, and seeing how long it can handle a window unit right out of the box. So I know it's working properly, everything is good, and we're going to see just how long this is going to last. It is not designed for air conditioners, guys, just so you know. Um, it's really not. It's designed, to, you know, for uh, normal appliances, coffee makers, and lights, and things that you're going to need, you know, in an off-grid situation, or if the power goes out. It's more for stuff like that. Air conditioners are really hard to run off battery power because they use so much energy. Um, it's a 5000 BTU AC, so I'm going to assume that it's going to use about 500 watts. That's a pretty easy breakdown. That's, that's what I'm predicting it's going to be running at 5000 BTUs. So um, I'll talk some more about the unit at the end. They're even going to let you uh, save 20% if you want to pick this guy up. Uh, Energy Solar was nice enough to give me another link for 20% off as long as this video is up. So if you end up, do, you do want one of these, you can click the link down in the description and they'll give you 20% off anything you buy, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Energy. That is super cool. Um, so without blabbering on about too much other stuff, let's just jump out there and check out the test and see if it can do it. So first we're gonna plug in our AC into the Kodiak here. Then we're gonna turn on the power for the inverter. We have full battery. Now we're gonna turn that to high cool and maximum cold temperature there. So this is the Kodiak before it kicks on. This is its resting wattage with the inverter on about nine watts. And then we're gonna turn on the fan for the AC to high fan. It's gonna jump up to like 120, but then it'll end up resting at about 65 watts. And now we're gonna turn on the compressor on high cool. And that's gonna start jumping up there to around 400. But as the compressor starts to build up a little bit over the course of an hour, that's gonna get up closer to 500 watts. So it's at 400 now, but that will climb up in the next 30 minutes to about 500 watts. Okay, just to show you here, there are no tricks up my sleeve. We have only the Kodiak solar generator running and plugged in, no solar. Oh, that feels nice. Pretty decadent having an AC unit in your backyard. I would call it a waste of energy, but I get all my energy from the sun, so it's all good. That's blowing ice cold. And it is on high cool and maximum cooling temperature. God, that feels nice. Okay. And the Kodiak generator itself is running at 479 watts and we're showing 90% power. Started this test at 1225. Okay, now that we're all wound up, we're pulling exactly 500 watts. And as far as the temperature readings go, our Kodiak right here is about 109. As we move it over to the AC, blowing ice cold. Okay, well we are up on exactly one hour here. We are still blowing 
Nice cold air. I moved the Kodiak down here into the shade just so it's easier to see the display and it was getting pretty hot in the sun. But you can see we're just above, let's see how many is that here? We're down to about 50% and it's been one hour. You see still putting out nice cold air. There it went. Just kicked off. You saw it right as it happened. So there we go. Let's check the time. It is 2 o'clock. So feeling all around the Kodiak, it's just warm to the touch. It's not very hot. It was in the shade. But everything stayed pretty cool, so it handled that load really well. We ended up with 20% of our lithium battery left, but it wasn't quite enough juice to keep the AC running at 500 watts. But at this point, it does say it still has, you know, 10 to 20% of its battery capacity. So you could still charge some phones or uh, do some small stuff like that with it. It's not completely dead, but it didn't have the current to continue uh, pumping that, you know, 5,000 BTU AC at uh, 10 to 20%. So that's it for this test. Let's go back to the green screen. Well, there you go. I made it an hour and 35 minutes, which is very, very impressive for something that weighs 20 pounds. I can lift it straight armed and I can easily carry it down to the lake or anywhere with me I want to go tent camping. So that's very impressive. But that kind of leads me to believe that this might actually be a viable solution to running a 5,000 BTU window unit all day. Um, if you had enough solar and a couple of extra batteries, which you can add to this guy, you can add up to 600 watts of solar and um, as many AGM or lead acid batteries as you like, uh, plug right into it and it will charge them and use that power. But I'm sure you want to know how, let's go ahead and double check everything here. So let's go ahead and hook it up to a 100 watt solar panel and move it around with the sun and see how much extra time that gives us so we really know how many solar panels we're going to need and how long we could actually run this AC unit. Um, I went ahead and re-ran the test and I hooked it up to a 100 watt solar panel, waited for a nice clear day, which took a few days. It's supposed to be done last week, but it was cloudy. And uh, we're going to run the test again and see how much extra time we get with one 100 watt solar panel hooked up to this guy. Uh, the solar panel is from Energy. It's the one that came with the unit. So let's jump out there and check out that test. So we're going to plug in our 100 watt solar panel to the side there and then we're going to kick on our Kodiak solar generator and I forgot to turn off the AC so it was just on but that's okay it kicked right on anyway. And we're going to take a look at our percentages here. We are running at around 400 watts and we are at 100% power. Okay we are at two hours. And we're still holding at 40%. Okay, so she just shut down. It's 1210. And again, we have 20% remaining. So there you go. It actually ran at an extra hour. We started the test at 940 and it ended at 1210. So that gave us an extra hour of runtime compared to just using the Kodiak by itself. So for every 100 watt panel, you're going to gain about an hour, I'd say is a fairly safe estimate. And this guy can handle up to 600 watts of solar added to it as well as batteries. So is this a viable solution to actually running an AC unit all day? I think it is. I think that's crazy for a little 20 pound box. That's very, very cool. So I think you would probably need to get to eight hours, which is what I always base run an AC off of. Eight hours seems like a good time frame. I think you need about 600 watts of solar and then probably a couple of extra batteries added onto that guy. And I think that's gonna put you well within the safe range of getting seven or eight hours out of the, uh, out of the AC unit, which is very, very cool. Um, I thought that was really impressive. And I actually, just so you know, it's not just going to run a 500 watt AC unit. This guy will handle very big appliances and power loads for shorter amounts of time. Just to prove it, I took it out and hooked it up to my RV air conditioner, which is a Dometic um, Blizzard NXT. And it's a 15,000 BTU AC unit. And 
just to push this guy way over the top to show you that it can handle really big heavy loads as well. I went ahead and plugged that in and turned it on and this thing drew anywhere from 1300 watts to at the end when the compressor was all loaded up 1800 watts it was pulling out of this guy and the Kodiak only has a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter but it has peak built in there to handle surges and it handled that for about 30 minutes and then I shut it down because I didn't want to do damage to any of my components and I thought that was incredible. So it can handle really big stuff, but of course you're not gonna try and run an air conditioner that big uh, off of the battery power alone on this guy, it'd take a ton. But I thought that was really cool that it did it. So very, very neat. If you do wanna pick one of these guys up, the 20% off discount is below. And also if you wanna just call into energy, you can just use the coupon code word adventure and that will also get it to you. You can just call them, say adventure, and they'll give you 20% off everything that they have. So that was very, very nice of them. Really appreciate that. I think that wraps it up. I tried to cover as much as I could in a shorter, short-ish amount of time on the Kodiak handling air conditioners of all shapes and sizes, and it did very, very well. I'm doing a full review on that again coming up in a couple weeks, so look forward to that. Please like, share, subscribe if you like this video, and until the next time, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Thanks so much for watching, and happy camping.